everyone, I'm Daria. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a cardigan from two crochet hexagons. Welcome back to Daria Crochet Live. On this channel I post knitting and crochet lessons, simple and not so simple tutorials on how to make different knitting and crochet projects. So if any of that interests you, please subscribe to my channel. Let's talk about everything you will need for today's tutorial. So first of all, it is a yarn. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot show you exactly the ball of yarn that I will use. I have only label. Uh, it is the yarn from the company Yarn Art and the brand name is Flowers, Yarn Art Flowers. This is Turkish yarn. It's pretty affordable. I ordered it um, from AliExpress, but it uh, came from Turkey. I used to work with this brand a lot uh, when I was living in Kazakhstan, so it's very, very popular Turkish brand. Uh, this yarn is, uh, okay, over here. So it's 55% uh, cotton and 45% uh, polyacryl. Uh, so that's acrylic yarn. Uh, and a ball is, it's like a yarn cake. It's 250 grams and it has 1,000 meters. So it's pretty thin yarn. Uh, I will, yeah, they, they recommend, they recommend three millimeter hook and I'm gonna use that hook. So it's super fine uh, or number one uh, yarn weight if you wanna substitute it with something else. And my color is, 297. Uh, so this is pretty affordable yarn, uh, but you can use one of these guys. Uh, this is a very, very good yarn. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know how to pronounce this brand correctly, uh, but you can see it on your screen. This yarn is one of my favorite and it has um, also, it has like uh, around 215-225 gram yarn cake like this one and it's about 1000 meters uh, and they recommend 3.5 or 4 millimeter uh, hook so you need to try the hook should always go uh, with the yarn so you need to try it with your yarn uh, if you like the tension so then yeah you can go this this particular yarn is 60 percent cotton and 40 percent acrylic and i have another one from the same company this one uh, I really, really like this color shade. So this one is uh, Wooly Whirl, Wooly Whirl, and uh, the content is a little bit different. 30% of uh, wool and 70% cotton. Uh, yardage is uh, the same. Yardage is very, very similar. So you will need, uh, if you want ombre cardigan, so then you will need two of exactly the same um, yarn cakes because we will use one for one half of the cardigan and another one for the second half of the cardigan, but you will have a leftover for maybe something else. So it's not like you will need uh, all of that yarn. And that obviously depends on, on your size, that depends on how big you want the cardigan to be. But I think uh, you will be, like, you definitely will need uh, minimum two balls of uh, yarn cakes. If you would like to work with solid colors, so then that's okay. You will not need that much yarn. And I will um, write down exactly how much yarn I used for my cardigan, like in terms of grams. And then you can you can uh, figure out your um, like how how much yarn you will need for your cardigan. Okay, so I'm going to use this yarn art flowers, two balls, two yarn cakes of this yarn. And I will work with three millimeter hook, crochet hook. Uh, this crochet hook is very old. I got it from my grandma and I love it because it's pointy. It's very easy to work with. But you can work with any crochet hook that you like. And once again, you pick crochet hook according to the yarn and try to like for example if on your yarn they ask you for 3.5 to 4.5 that means you need to try 3.5 you need to try 4 you need to try 4.5 and whatever tension you love so stick with that you can experiment and you know, it's not a rule that you have to work with a certain um, crochet hook size Okay, you will also need a measuring tape, scissors, and a yarn needle. Yarn needle is a, 
a tapestry needle so it's a needle with big um, hole and my favorite type is this one with a slightly banded uh, tip it's very very comfortable to work with okay let's start crocheting the best thing of uh, making this cardigan is that you really don't need to make a swatch uh, maybe make a swatch only to check that you like the crochet hook size uh, but you don't really need it so, crocheting starts the same way for all sizes it doesn't matter if you're doing it for your baby or for extra extra large cardigan so it doesn't really matter we will start the same way uh, so first thing that you need to do is a slip knot so here is my slip knot and then you need to chain four then find the first chain and insert your hook into the first chain and you need to make a slip stitch in order to close the circle okay so that was our foundation so now all of the uh, stitches for the first row will go into this circle right into the middle but before doing that we need to do three turning chains so one two and three so these three chains they will play a role of double crochet so later when we'll uh, count our stitches so these three would be will count it as one stitch so after that you need to make two double crochet and both of them will go into this into the middle of our circle so try to stretch it and you'll see it better okay it's over here so i'm doing my first double crochet and another one into the same hole then we need to do um, a corner on the corner you do three chains one two and three after that three double crochet and all of them will go into the same hole into the middle three of them so this is one this is two and three then you need to repeat three chains three double crochet going into the same hole four more times so each of these three double crochet they will make one side we are doing a hexagon hexagon means it will have six um, sides and it will have six corners so on every corner you will have three chains and on every side you will have three uh, double crochet okay so now repeat three chains three double crochet four more times then you need to finish your uh, round with three chains and you need to make a slip stitch into the uh, third chain remember those first three turning chains so into the third one into the topest one you go and you do a slip stitch over there so this is what you're supposed to have after making a first roll you need to have three um, oh, sorry you need to have six clusters of three double crochet and remember I told you that three chains we count as one and on every corner you should have three chains uh, now we will start our um, uh, repetitive rows so all the rows you will like it's it's a very very simple pattern you repeat them it's just like four um, four row repeat pattern uh, the first one will be um, lacy pattern so we started like this we do four chains then you need to turn your work so now you you see it's a big uh, hole the corner the space under three chains 
make yarn over and do a double crochet right into that big space. Then it doesn't matter what row you're doing, you need to make th on every corner, you do three chains. Then one double crochet into the same big hole. Chain one. Then you need to, you see, now we, we come to the side and we have three double crochet. So make a double crochet on top of first one under both loops like this. Then chain one skip the next stitch and double crochet into the next one so i'm skipping this one and i'm going to the next one also under both loops then chain one one double crochet right into the corner space and three chains one two and three double crochet right into the corner space chain one i come again to the three double crochet so double crochet on top of the first one chain one double crochet on top of the last one so i'm skipping the second one and going to the next one and i'm back to corner again so now you will repeat it all over to the end so on the corner you do chain one double crochet three chains double crochet chain one and then on the side you will do double crochet chain one double crochet repeat like this to the end so i did uh, double crochet into the last corner then chain one then double crochet on top of the first double crochet from previous row chain one skip the second one and here i already have um, i have three uh, three chains and they play a role of, of double crochet but if you remember i did four chains at the beginning um, of the row so now i need to skip the fourth one and into the third one I'm doing a slip stitch and this is what you should have after making second row so on every side from corner to corner you're supposed to have like if we don't count corner holes so you're supposed to have one two three holes and then big hole with three chains and it should be like that on every side three big holes uh, please uh, make sure that you have that. Uh, now let's do the next row. You need to start the next row with three chains and turn your work. So now uh, look, these three chains, they play role of double crochet and they are right on top of this double crochet. So that means we need to make another double crochet right into this hole right into the chain space under the chain i'm doing one double crochet another one will be on top of double crochet next double crochet from previous row next one into the chain space then right into the double crochet from the previous row and I came to the corner. In the corner, I'm doing two double crochet into the same uh, chain space. One and two. Then I need to make two chains and another two uh, double crochet right into this big uh, corner space. One and two. So that's what you're supposed to do on every corner. Two double crochet, three chains, two double crochet. Then on every side, you will do 
one double crochet on top of every double crochet and in every chain space in every uh, next row round you will have more and more stitches so that means you you will always have a different number of the uh, double crochet on every uh, side but you should uh, make sure that you have first of all uh, that you work on all double crochet and in all chain spaces and in every round make sure that the number of stitches is the same on every side so count your stitches once in a while uh, just to make sure that you didn't make any mistakes so now I am working to the next corner doing my last double crochet on this side and then this is my next corner do uh, two double crochet into the corner two chains and two double crochet into the same uh, st space work like this to the end of this round I just finished the last corner so now I'm making my double crochet and the last double crochet into the chain space and that's it be careful and don't make another double crochet on top of these three chains because we already have three chains uh, now you need to find the third chain and make a slip stitch over there so after that please count your stitches on every side you're supposed to have 11 double crochet after this round so it's three chains on the corner and 11 double crochet on the side in the every next row you're supposed to add four stitches on every side like you see here we added two double crochet and two double crochet so in total in the next row 11 plus 4 15 stitches that's what we need to have uh, and in order to start next row you make three chains turn your work so you see again so these three chains and my new three chains on top of it now I'm doing double crochet on top of the next double crochet so next row is very simple we do just one double crochet on top of every double crochet in the row and on every corner we will do exactly the same thing that we were doing before so it will be two double crochet two chains two double crochet okay this is my last one be careful with the last one don't skip it and then corner space two double crochet this is one and this is two two chains and two double crochet into the same corner space and after that work on the side along this side so make one double crochet on top of every double crochet so this is my first one and this is the place where I need to make my first double crochet so work like this to the end of this round okay I'm doing my last double crochet in this round and finish the round with slip uh, stitch into the third chain the beginning turning chain find the third one and make a slip stitch like this so after you finish a round please count how many stitches you have in on one side you're supposed to have uh, 15 as I said before so in every round you add uh, four more stitches on the uh, side uh, next round would be super easy you repeat the previous one so you start with three chains you turn your work and you do one double crochet on top of every double crochet from the previous row and you do the same thing on the corner two double crochet two chain two double crochet uh, and also count your stitches you will add uh, four more stitches on every side so that would be um, 15 plus 
24, 19 stitches on every side. So work like this to the end of this round. At the end of this round, you also need to make a slip stitch into the third chain. And that's it. So you need to make three rows uh, without any holes, just double crochet around. And the fourth one, you do um, arches, you do those uh, double crochet chain, double crochet. So let me show you how to start that type of row. So you start with four chains, turn your work, skip next double crochet and do a double crochet into the next one. Chain one, skip one stitch and double crochet into the next one. And you work like this to the end of this side. Chain one and double crochet into the last double crochet. And then you know what to do in, in the corner. Chain one, one double crochet. Three chains. Double crochet into the same corner space. Chain one. And on the other side, double crochet into the first stitch. Then chain one, skip one stitch, and into the next one, double crochet. Work like this to the end of this row, uh, to the end of this side, and then repeat the same uh, on the corner. So chain one, double crochet, three chains, double crochet, chain one. Uh, and, and that's it. So you work like this all around. Here you will make a slip stitch into the third one. So be careful over here. So you will skip the fourth one and you will do a slip stitch into the third one. Um, and then you will repeat these three rows. So three rows of double crochet, one row of hole. And you need to work like this uh, to, des to desired length. I'll show you a little bit later what is the desired length. This is what you're supposed to have after making six rounds. No worries if uh, your piece is not flat. It's not supposed to be flat. Uh, it's supposed to be like that. Uh, so now, if you take one side, these two corners, and you join them like this, so you will have something that is uh, that looks like a little semi semi cardigan so this is a sleeve and this is a body piece uh so remember i told you that it doesn't matter which size you are making so we all start the same right now you need to work uh, until the piece measures uh like your desired length from from your neck so the neck would be over here to the desired um, sleeve length. And the sleeve would be a little bit too wide for, for the cardigan, so I decided to cinch it a little bit like that. So, and in the, uh, on the last row, I will uh, decrease. So it will be like a, a balloon sleeve, like that. And, and my sleeve is not, uh, is not gonna be the full sleeve, that would be like, um, uh, uh, seven eighths or something like that so it will not be a, a long sleeve and another measurement that you need to pay attention on is the width so this one would be the the half of the width of uh, like your bus circumference or your waist circumference whatever is uh, wider but keep in mind so uh, until when you will reach the desired length uh, then we will work a little bit uh, so it would be more, so we will add a little bit length over here and width for the, for the body. So no worries uh, if this would be too small. The most important right now is to, uh, to work the length uh, of the sleeve correctly. So whenever I will stop and I will, I will tell you how many rows I did for my sleeve. 
uh, but you can play around and do a little bit more or less so it will all up to you uh, how big you want uh, the sleeve to be okay and i'll see you when my sleeve would be done and this part will grow as well okay my friends so i decided to stop right now and show you uh, what i'm doing so i'm still uh, continuing doing exactly what i showed you in the last part yeah i finished I 28 rows right now and i uh, i was uh, uh, I was keep trying uh, this um, on my on myself and I decided that that's enough otherwise the sleeve is getting too wide and I don't like it right now the length of my sleeve so this is the bottom of the sleeve and this is where my neck will be so the length is around 55 centimeters and the width uh, like over here the widest part is 20 28 centimeters uh, obviously this is not enough uh, for the width for the body but I think that's more than enough uh, for the width of my sleeve and I want to stop right now uh, as you can see you need to play uh, like you need to fold your piece like that whenever you feel that uh, it's the right sleeve length it's a little bit short for me so it's it's not going to be the long sleeve cardigan anyways it's a summer cardigan so I decided that I'm okay with this length um, and right now I don't want it to be too uh, wide so I will do the decrease okay this is how i finished my row you see i'm kind of in the middle of the uh, sleeve it doesn't really matter uh, i'm doing my chain one turn my work and right now i will start doing a decrease uh, decreases and i will do a single crochet row and i will do invisible decreases so how to do an invisible uh, decrease first go into the next chain under the uh, front loop only like this pick up just front loop then without doing any yarn overs go through the next stitch through the front loop only as well you need to have three loops on the hook then yarn over pull through these two uh, fronts first one and second one you should have two loops on the hook yarn over pull through two so that's it now you need to work like this to the end of the row basically to till this point and then i'll see you and explain what to do next let me show you one more time so i'm going into the next stitch through the front loop only then i'm going to the second next stitch through the front loop only yarn over pull through these two fronts have two loops on the hook yarn over pull through two okay so i almost at the end came to the corner so right now i will join these two uh, corners together like this and you see i did my last i did my last uh, decrease on top of these two last double crochet i have three chains over here so i'm going into the first chain doesn't matter like to be to be honest doesn't really matter through which loop okay i'm going this way uh, and then I'm taking the other corner like this inserting my hook through the front loop only of the chain on the other corner and do my decrease the same way oh, just like I was doing before so on the on two corners I'm doing just one stitch join and then keep going keep working to the end uh which would be the the beginning like of the row where i started decreasing so keep working exactly the same way like you were doing before okay at the end of the round you need to make a slip stitch into the first stitch to close the round so I think my first stitch is this one and I'm doing a slip stitch over there then you need then you need to break the yarn so cut the yarn 
leave a slightly long tail it will be easy for you to weave in the end later like this uh, all right so that's what you're supposed to have by this time so as you can see we have uh, like we cinched the the sleeve over here to create it like a balloon uh, shape so right now we need to make a shoulder or sleeve seam over here so we will sew it over there and then we will uh, and then we will keep working just around the body to add more rows for front back and to add a little bit more to the length but first of all we need to close this this gap now you need to cut the yarn that is around three times longer than the desired length of the seam and our seam is this one from the neckline to the end of the um, sleeve and thread it through the tapestry needle or yarn needle after that starting from this point uh, from the end of the uh, seam we need to attach the yarn so over here we have our first uh, double crochet on this side and first double crochet on the other side so our goal is to match two of them then we have uh, two uh, chains one is here one is on the other side and as you remember we have the other chain that is not connected and I'm gonna use it right now the second chain here and the second chain the middle chain on the other side just to attach my yarn so I'm going under both loops like this and then I will make um, a double knot and as you can see I'm leaving pretty long tail because that would be easy for me to weave in the end later at the end so I'm making a double knot and that's it now my yarn is attached all right so after this the seam is very very easy what you need to do on the front layer you go into the next stitch in my case it's a chain right into the middle and you take it away in the next in the middle of the next stitch like this and you pull through then on the other side on the back side exactly same idea so you will start from the first chain make sure that your stitch is actually matching and you will take it away from the double crochet from the first double crochet like this and pull through so repeat this to the end one stitch on the front layer one stitch on the back layer and when you in the front layer you will uh, you start with the same stitch that you just used so in my case it's it was the first double crochet so i'm again going into the first double crochet and taking away into the second so it will look like this and then in the on the back layer so once again i start with the first stitch and take it away the second one and pull through so keep working like this to the end I finished the seam so this is how it looks like from the right side and this is from the wrong side as you can see it's pretty nice seam and what I like is that it's uh, it's not bulky so um, it can make the cardigan uh, double-sided you can wear it any side uh, like over here at the bottom of the sleeve you can see this is the right side and this is the wrong side on the wrong side we have little line so if you want to flip it over and then you will have a little detail at the bottom like that okay so and now we will uh, move our work we will attach the work you see I didn't uh, like I, I finished sewing but I didn't do anything special over here I'm gonna leave this uh, yarn and so maybe I will need it later and right now please be careful um, make sure that you're working from the right side so if you look at the previous row over here 
the double crochet there kind of turned uh, so this is the right side this is how I, I was working them and because I'm flipping all the time so make sure that you're still staying on the same side and right now I will attach my yarn over here on the where I have my uh, shoulder seam and then I will work around this uh, like front panel bottom one and come back over here to the same uh, spot and then um, yeah and then I'll just and then, and then I'll just turn over uh, go back so right now my my seam is kind of like it looks like a triangle like like this I don't know if you can see that but uh, you just you just ignore the sleeve which we already closed and you will work uh, along the along the three other sides okay so take the yarn end uh, your hook and over here we have uh, two like two holes from the corner uh, attach your yarn right into the uh, first corner like this so I'm just insert my hook over there catch the yarn yarn over pull through and then you can make a double knot Then insert your hook into the same big hole, yarn over, pull through, and then make three chains. One, two, three. These three chains will play a role of double crochet. So we are not. We will continue our pattern because I'm uh, since I was doing three rows of double cro crochet, and I need one more row. So then, then it's easy. I'm just keep doing my one row of double crochet but on the, here on the hole I need to make one more uh, double crochet like this and then just one double crochet in every next stitch to the corner and when I'll come to the corner I'll do exactly the same thing that I was doing before in the corner which is two double crochet two cha uh, three chains two double crochet and then I'll work on the other side another corner and the third side and I will see you when I'll like when I'll be over here at the end of the row at the end of this row when I uh, almost here at the seam so in the last big hole which used to be a corner I need to make two double crochet one and two so after that I'm not gonna join uh, to the like where, where I had three chains no I will do my four chains because the in the next row I will do the row with the arches so I'm doing one two three and four turning my work turning my work and then I will skip uh, the first double crochet the second and I will do the double crochet into the third so I'm skipping this hole that hole and I'm going into this hole and keep working with the arches uh, pattern which is one chain skip one space and double crochet into the next one um, so basically you just keep working uh, in in the pattern and whenever you like you will come to this point your last double crochet should go into the uh, the third chain the um, uh, turning chains so the last double crochet will go over here and uh, you need to work like this to desired uh, length let me show you what I mean so if we put Uh, okay, so this is the sleeve. This is the sleeve. Uh, this is the body. And right now I'm adding extra centimeters to the body, to the front and to the back. So when this width would be my desired width, so then I'll stop. Uh, I know that for myself that uh, I need to make nine rows, including the first one. So I already did one, so I'll make uh, eight more rows. And uh, that would be around 30 centimeters over here. So uh, you see right now I'm measuring it's uh, 20, 
three centimeters. So when I'll have 30, I'll try it on. And I think that would be more than enough for myself. And then I'll stop and then we will need to make a seam uh, for the back. Uh, but until now, keep working, just working on the front, back and here the bottom. Uh, bottom one. In this case, you will add some centimeters to the width and length of your cardigan. Okay, let me show you what I did so far. So I finished nine rows, uh, those rows that I was showing you before. Uh, if I count from here, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Nine rows, uh, and then I stopped, and then I did exactly the same piece. Uh, like absolutely everything is the same. Same amount of a row, same amount of stitches. So this is my second piece. Then I weaved in all the ends and on the second piece, I cut the, like I cut the yarn and I weaved in all the ends. I fastened everything off so there are no ends over here. Uh, the last thing that I need to do is the last back seam. So it doesn't really matter which side. I'm, I think the side where I have my working yarn attached right now. So that's going to be my back. Uh, right now I need to cut the yarn for the for sewing. Uh, and the length of this yarn. Okay, let me first of all, let me fasten it off. So I'm taking my ball and pulling it through and pulling it through the remaining loop like this. This is how you fasten it off. Okay, and now I need to measure three lengths of the desired seam. So this is one. That would be more than enough. Okay, that's my three length. Cut the yarn. We don't need the ball anymore. And thread the yarn through the tapestry needle. Okay, we are ready to sew. The seam would be exactly the same uh, like we were doing before on the sleeves. So first thing that I need to do, you see my yarn is going from that side. So that means I need to join uh, two pieces together and I'm finding the corner space and pulling the yarn through. Okay, so now I will go uh, through like insert because I have those chains on both ends and I will do that invisible seam. So go into first chain right into the middle and take it away and take it away from the second stitch and pull through. So do one stitch on one side and then repeat it on the other side. So I'm going into the V and take it like first V and take it away on the second one like that and pull through. So and you work like that to the end and, and then you will need to weave in the end and that's it. The cardigan is ready. So, and when you come back to the other side, so you go into the same, uh, like into the second chain this time and take it away from the third one, like this. So always use the same stitch two times. And after several stitches, you can pull it, pull the work a little bit. Yeah, like this. And then I'm going to pull the work to, to close the seam. So keep working like this to the end. Okay, my friends, I finished uh, the seam, the back seam. I weaved in all the ends. This is how the seam look like. I don't know if you can see anything. It's very dark. Uh, but it's exactly the same seam that we were doing for the sleeves, like this one. Uh, thank you so much for being with me today. Please let me know if you have any questions on how to crochet this cardigan. And all the links to materials that I was using today you can find in the description box below. 
If you're going to use my tutorial to make this cardigan and post it on Instagram, please use this hashtag and give me some credit. That will mean a lot for me. Thank you so much. Happy crocheting. Bye-bye.